Right, so if you are read and understood, considering it is to take station, kindly begin. Um, hi, my name is Shweb. I'm one of the surgical surgical doctors here. Can I ask your name and age, please? Good. Yes, I'm James. I'm 77 years old. Good. Hi, James. James, uh, what brings you here? So actually, doctor, I'm having some uh, problem regarding my urination. You know, I have to go a lot, uh, many times during a day and also at night. And also it's- Oh, I'm it's so sorry to hear that. Um, would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions regarding to your problem? Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, sure. All right. So, uh, so you're telling me that you have a problem in the urination. So uh, is it that you have to go to more number of times to the toilet? For me? Yes. Yes, doctor. All right. All right. Okay. How often in a day? Oh, almost 12, 12 to 15 times in a day. All right. And, also... and do you need to wake up at night to go for the V as well? Yes. Four to five times at least. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's it's really uh, difficult for you. I understand that. And can you tell me when you when you feel that you, are, you want to go for V? So can you control it for some time or it's just uncontrollable and you have to rush for it? Uh, actually, it's very difficult to control. You have to, I have to rush for it. Oh, uh, all right, all right. And once once you start being, do you think it's is it easy for you to empty your bladder or still you feel that you need to go immediately after that and you are not, you know, feeling no. completed? Right. No, I still feel that I still have to urinate more, even after. All right. Oh. All right. I'm so sorry. So, um, uh, would you tell me more that um, what happens when you when you uh, go for V, and do you think it's a normal stream or uh, uh, you have to struggle to start it? No, the stream is it. not start. Uh, the right. stream is not normal. I a, I and did you, okay, all right. So did you did you feel any change in color of the V? No, there is no change in color. All right. And did you feel any bleeding or anything like that in no. the V? No bleeding. All right. Okay. And did, did you feel any back pain? No, doctor. No, okay. So no back pain. All right. And um, all right. And have you have you lost your body weight? Have you noticed that? Uh, no, no, I have not lost my body weight. Okay, good, great, and um, all right, and um, a few more questions. Did you generally feel weak and um, unwell, or otherwise you are fine? No, otherwise I'm quite healthy. I don't feel any right. problem. Any any history of headaches? Any particular weakness of the body part? No, no. Weakness. Any chest no pain weakness. or cough? No, doctor. All right. And do you feel any joint pains at all? Uh, sometimes I have joint pains, but I think it's uh, uh, all right. not severe, not severe or debilitating. All right. And um, right. Okay. And did you feel any um, change in your eye color or any painful eye problems, anything like that? Or any VN problem? No, doctor. Nothing All like right. that. Right. Okay. And and your ball habits are normal, is it? Or do you yes. have any diarrhea? Okay, no diarrhea. Good. Right. Any abdominal pain? 
No, no, doctor, no pain. All right, okay. And um, a few more questions. Uh, do you have any other medical condition for which you are taking any medications or anything like that? So I just have hypertension for which I'm on antihypertensive. Apart from that, right. I don't have any problem. Do you do you know the name of the drug? Or? Uh, I think it's some. Uh, I don't remember. I don't. Okay, know that's all right. That's right. Do you have any yeah. drug allergies? No, no drug allergy. No drug allergies. And do you do you have any operations in the past? No, doctor. No surgery. Right. All right. All right. And um, yeah, so so anything which I missed and you want to mention? Oh, doctor, I don't understand why this is happening uh, to me, actually. I just want to know that. All right. So um, do you think, is there any particularly stress in your life at the moment, which is affecting your condition? No, not particularly. Everything is fine. Right. Do you smoke? Oh, yes, I smoke. How, how much do you smoke? Oh, oh, like 10 cigarettes in a day. 10 cigarettes a day. And for how long you are smoking? Since uh, 20 years. Since 20 years. All right. All right. And do you drink? No, doctor. So as a profession, what do you do? I'm a farmer. You're a farmer. All right. And um, are you living alone or with family uh, I'm staying with my family. Thank all right. You. Yes. All right. With your children. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. All right. So, um, so what, what do you think? What's your main concern? I think uh, it's uh, some, uh, some problem in my kidney or my urine bag. I feel uh, something related to that. And my concern is uh, it have, can be... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, please. Have so you ever can... had any urine infections previously? No, no doctor. Okay, All can right. you please present your history now? All right. So, uh, so my patient, uh, James, seventy-seven years old, uh, uh, has uh, difficulty in passing urine for the last six months. Uh, he's having a uh, increased frequency. He's having urgency and incomplete. Uh, uh, bladder emptying, plus he has also nocturia and poor stream for the same time. And uh, she uh, has uh, generalized joint pain and she's smoker for the last 20 years, 10 cigarettes per day. And um, uh, she's hypertensive as taking medication. She's not sure which it is. And um, yeah, she's not specifically any back pain or patient any. Is male. Sorry? The patient is male. Doesn't oh yeah. Extra, he, uh, yes, sorry. sorry. Yes. Yeah. Don't change the condition. Yeah. Yes. So he's then, a. Sorry, so what are just, you? What are your differential diagnoses for this patient? So my topmost differential is uh, BPH, and uh, uh, it could be, uh, it could be, it, it could also be uh, prostatic cancer. It could be bladder cancer. It could be hyperactive bladder, and okay. it could be yeah. How do you intend to manage this patient? Well, I will start from examining the patient and I will first uh, obviously complete the IPSS scoring and then um, I will go for detailed examination and will go for investigation, which includes uh, starting from uh, blood stools uh, and see if there is increased white cell count and, uh, and low HB. And then I will go for PSA to check if P PSA levels and then I will, I will uh, check for the uh, urine uh, culture and sensitivity uh, after microscopy to see if there is any okay. septic element. And then, um, yeah, I will go for some radiological investigations. So on, in, on, exam, on examination, obviously do the DRE first and then ultrasound, abdomen plus uh, What are the treatment options that you can offer to this patient? Well, depends upon the diagnosis. If the diagnosis is BPH, then I will, I will start from medical treatment and which includes uh, actually uh, um, um, uh, temsulosine and uh, finasteride. I will start from this and if the patient is not better then I will uh, jump to the surgical uh, management which includes TURP. Okay, good. All right. So if time would have allowed you, 
how would you have completed your... How would you have completed your... Sorry. Uh, I said if time would have allowed you, how would you have completed your history? Well, if uh, if time has, has allowed me, then um, uh, I will complete the systemic review and um, um, and the personal uh, history. I think yes, I've and family history, maybe. Oh uh, yeah, the family history. Obviously, drug yeah. history. Did you? I think you asked drug history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were asking. Yeah, I think I'm left with the family history and a few systemic questions. Rest yes, of. and the eyes that you were. Completely yeah, I was, I was actually, she, she already, uh, she told idea initially herself, and then I asked about the concern, and I, I was about to ask the expectations. Good. Okay, uh, yep. Dr. Snell, can you please give the feedback first? Uh, yes, ma'am, sure. Uh, ma'am, in history, uh, I think uh, we should be asking about past history of similar complaints and uh, history yes. of police catheterization in the past. Yes, that and we can ask uh, any instrumentation, yes. Yes, and history of urinary dribbling, and uh, also uh, the any history of uh, cert, uh, some uh, sexual erectile dysfunction. Uh, yes, like because it's a male patient, and he should have asked you if you have any problems with erections and EDT. Good, very good. Anything else? No, ma'am, that's all. Good. It doesn't matter Thank if you. the actor is a male or a female, but then you have to keep in your mind uh, the stem. Uh, yes. STEM is of a male patient, so it doesn't matter if uh, you, if someone yes. volunteers from opposite gender to help you, but then you have to consider that, okay, it's a male. Uh, right, so this is just, something... Yes, just a my, quick question. Yes. Sorry. Just a quick question, just for my learning. If the patient hasn't back pain, do I need to ask erectile dysfunction? Because supposedly it's related to... Uh, if yes, I know. Is, uh, right. But then, uh, yes, another, not this, then you can say, is it associated with, is your urination or your V is associated with, the, or even the word water works uh, associated okay. with the pain? So All if right. not the back pain, that uh, actual thing is associated with the pain. Right. So All if right. patient said no back pain, so then does it uh, cause pain to urinate or does it cause, cause pain to V? Or yeah. does water work causes pain? Because yeah. that can also be one problem. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Any bone pains he could have asked? Yes. I I did, I think. Uh, bone pain. Okay. Yes. Sorry. All right. Good. I think uh, you covered it very well. Uh, it's quite an improvement from yesterday. But still, yes, we'll practice again tomorrow.